my mom. Sometimes I, I don't know if it's her or Wonder Woman. She, the things that she's done for me throughout my life, she's never let me miss a meal. I've never not had a roof under my head, no matter the circumstances. She's always done what she's had to do for me to get what I need. My father, you know, he's been there for me at all times too. I couldn't ask for a better father. Some things could be different, but you know, uh, not every path is the smoothest, you know, so. And on top of that, I'm the oldest of seven children. So knowing that I have six just siblings looking up to me, at times the pressure feels a little overwhelming, but I know if I set the bar this high, it only lets them bring it up to here and then up to here and up to here. So just knowing that I'm going to be going to be a first generation college graduate, I think it just serves testimony to how good of a job that my parents did uh, raising me and, and giving me a moral compass to follow, follow by every day in my daily life. So, I've got something for you. I want you to right. read it. All I right. want you to read it out loud. All right. I'm going to give it to you. Okay. When I sit down, you open it. All right. Read it slow. Okay. Read it out loud. All right. Okay? All right. Uh, and you know, my mom calls me that. No, I'm done. <laughs> With graduation being right around the corner, I wanted to take a second and tell you how proud I am of you. I don't know if you remember this, but when you were eight, maybe nine years old, you, your brothers, and I were at the grocery store. There was an elderly woman there struggling to load her groceries into her cart. Without hesitation, you walked over and asked if you could help her to her car. Everyone within five feet of us was speechless. I didn't know if it was because you were so young, if that random act of kindness was so rare, or if it was the combination of the two. But that was the moment I knew you were going to be great, and I wasn't wrong. So many people tell me what a great job I've done with you. And, and I'd love to take credit. The truth is you were born a leader with a kind soul and a brilliant mind. You're an incredible role model, not only for your brothers and sisters, but for me and the entire human race. Your ambition, focus, and will to succeed is going to take you to the top. The sky's the limit. I'm on the edge of my seat waiting to see what you're going to do in this next chapter of your life. You are the author of your destiny. You're holding the pen. Write a great story. I'm so proud of you. We all are. I love you more than words can say. Mom. Man, she almost just made me choke up right there on camera. You can't be doing that to me, Mom. Mm. Oh my goodness, what's up? What are y'all doing here, man? Happy birthday! Y'all are fighting on me like this, man. What up, dude? What up, buddy? What's up, Didi? Yeah. Oh, what up, man? What up, Jerry, man? What are y'all doing here? I just came to surprise you, man. Come, come here with this, man. Yay! I appreciate y'all coming up. Yeah. Wow, and then you got me over here about the crying stuff, reading the letter. Aww. Why don't you guys kind of huddle around him for a minute? Who's sitting here, boss man? <laughs> and I'm looking up to him. So it's amazing. Amazing. It is. It is. Amazing wow. role model. Just the, he's a great kid. Great man, I guess. Always my baby. <laughs> yeah.